This is an overview of the Preferences screen in Magic Base Pro. To access the Preferences screen, just click on the Prefs button in the lower left. Now there are actually seven different tabs on the Preferences screen. The first one is the Auto Fill options. Auto Fill options are a way to save some time typing. When you create a new record, if you're always putting the same data into certain fields, you can preload the fields here and those fields will be automatically filled in when you create a new record. For example, the phone area code. If you always perform with in one certain area code, you can just type it here and save yourself some typing. Or if you usually or almost always perform in one city, you can have the city typed in here. The same with the state or postal code, zip code, and you can even have the country filled in automatically. Now region refers to something like the county. If you want to put in a county that you always perform in, you can do that. Now show defaults are descriptions of the shows. Show length refers to the number of minutes on the show. You can put in whatever show you want. If you usually do a half an hour show, then put in 30. If you only perform for adults or you only perform for children, then you might want to put that description in the audience type field. The show type could be like walk around or stage or hypnosis shows, whatever you do, usually you can fill that in here. Of course, if you don't want to have anything in there, just erase it and then that field will be blank when you create the record. Auto number re routines refers to how many routines will automatically be created on the show planner screen when you click on the auto number button. In this case, it would automatically number 10 routines. Now, if you always are the main performer, then you can put your name in here in this location, or you can blank it out if you have multiple performers working for you. For financial details, you should put in the currency symbol for your country in there. The agency rate is for if you get hired by an entertainment agency, you can put in a rate. For example, if they always charge 20%, you can put that in there. The travel rate refers to the amount of money per mile that you want to charge if you have a standard mileage rate entered in here. Now for tax rate, if you are required to collect taxes as part of your show, you can put that in here. 0.07 would become 7%. For deposit, if you have a standard amount of money that you ask for a deposit from your shows, then you can put that in this location. Now, contract turnaround refers to the number of days that the client has to return the contract before you automatically cancel it. If you choose to use that feature, you can put in a number in this location. Now, the special terms for contract items are extra terms that can appear at the bottom of the contract if you want. You could consider them the fine print and you can define three different terms that can be added to the bottom of the contract. So any information typed in here can appear on the contract if you want it to when you select the insert special terms button on the flex contract. The next tab is business info. This is where you put in information about you. Put in your company name, your legal name, your stage name. If you have a tagline, put that in here. Now there's even a place for you to insert your signature. To do that, you'd have to scan an image of your signature and save it on file. And that can be added to contracts if you want. There's a place for you to select your company logo. Just click on the company logo button, select that you want to add, choose whatever you want to have for your company logo and that will be inserted there and that can be used on the contracts and letters and envelopes. For your contact information put in your address, your phone number, email, web address, whatever information you want to have available to easily add to your contracts and your letters. The next tab is connections. This refers to getting information in and out of Magic Base. There are five different buttons. The import button refers to data that you want to import from a non-Magic Base program. For example, if you've got information in another database or an Excel, you can import it using this button. Now the data will have to have been previously exported from this other program and it needs to be in tab delimited format. And then you can import it using this button. Next, if you want to upgrade from Magic Base 2.6, 
you use this button. And there are some requirements on the way that you have to export the data from 2.6, but once it's exported, this is the button you use to import it automatically. The update from Magic Base Pro is a button that you would press when you are going from an older version of Magic Base Pro to a newer version. You would choose the update button. Likewise, if you have an old version of Magic Base Pro and you want to uh, prepare your data for import into the newer version, then you'd click on the export button here and would export your data so that you can import it later. And finally, the export button here is if you want to export your data to use in some other non-Magic Base program like Excel or some other database. Clicking on this button would allow you to export your data. The next tab is the event action. Now this is a great powerful screen that will allow you to make programmable pop-up reminders. Pop-up reminders will appear when you turn on Magic Base or when you click up the View Actions button from the customer screen and will remind you of things that you need to do with the customer. Now there are four different columns here. The first column refers to the action that you want to be reminded to do. There's actually a number of different actions in here and you can enter more in a different location in Magic Base, like for example, send thank you letter. Now the next column is where you enter a number that refers to the number of days before or after the event that you want the reminder to appear. You can select a number or if you want to type it in you can do that here. Next, you have to decide whether you want the reminder to appear three days or four days before your event or if you want it to appear after the event. For example, if you're going to send a thank you letter then you want to click the after button. And next you're going to define the, t the booking status of the event. The booking status is booked, pending, no, or prospect. Now if somebody has hired you for a show then obviously you'd want to send them a thank you letter afterwards. So there are a number of different th ways that you can program the pop-up reminders. They're very valuable and this is a great tool in Magic Base. Now the next tab is lists. There are a number of places in Magic Base where you have a definable pop-up menu of different items. Okay, This screen will be used to keep all of those lists in one place and you can program them all here. Okay, For example, if you want to have an item added to a list, let's say, put down that we want to have mom added on here, and we choose add to list, and there she is typed right in there. Next is tutorials. Tutorials are instructions that teach you how to use Magic Base. Buttons actually can have tutorials on them. When the mouse pointer hovers over a button, you can get a notice of what the button does. You can turn on voice if your computer has voice capability or warnings so that you will be warned if you're going to do some action that you can't undo. Now the web tutorials button will take you to the Magic Base tutorials screen where you can view some other instructions on how to use Magic Base. Next is web. This is where you program what certain web links in Magic Base do. For example, on the customer screen there's a map button. Now you can make it go to whatever map service you want. Just type in the map service here and then when you click on the map button on the customer screen it will go to that service. And so this is a place for you to define what some web links in Magic Base do. And so that's the preferences screen in Magic Base Pro.